The police officers in Londiani sub-county in Kericho are investigating an incident in which a Form 4 student was allegedly assaulted by a school principal and sustained injuries on her face and neck. The student at Sacred Hill Girls Secondary School in Londiani was allegedly punished over an altercation with her classmates on Monday. She was later sent home with her guardians being informed and the sub-county director of education has, however, dismissed the allegations but said investigations into the case have commenced. Ben Kidri with the details. The Form 4 student whom we shall name Susan to conceal her identity is still reeling from pain allegedly inflicted by the school principal of Sacred Hill Girls Secondary School in Londiani. A medical report by a private hospital in Akuru where she was treated and discharged on Tuesday this week says Susan sustained head and neck injuries and had bruises on her face. Nilikuwa ni mumia, nilikuwa na vuja damu, nikapata dadangu, haka nipeleka hospitali, nikapata after she was discharged from the hospital, Susan's mother returned her daughter back to school and sought to find answers on why her child was punished and suspended. She, however, claims that the school's management called the police on her for causing disturbance in the school compound. She and her daughter were arrested and briefly detained by the Londiani sub-county police. The mother was causing disturbance in the school and the principal rang me that she was causing disturbance in the school. And ordinarily, I have to inform the, 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 the officer in charge of security in the sub-county. I informed him, our DCC, who sent, who sent officers to the school to bring peace. We were able to dispatch police officers to go and find out what was, what, what was happening. When the police officers arrived there, they found the woman was shouting all over. And for us to save the situation so that the girls could not go out of their way, we had to, the woman and the daughter plus the principal were brought at the sub-county where we had a sitting. Sub-county director of education, Evans Ogamba, while admitting that the school made a mistake in sending the student home without informing the parents, refuted claims of harmful punishment against the student. The student was allegedly beaten over an altercation with her classmate. So far, I've asked the principal, and the, 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 question, the, the answer she gave is that no beating was done on the girl, and therefore, the quality assurance officers will have to go to school, investigate, and once, find it, once, once they finish, they will bring us the, 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 their findings and action will be taken on whoever who may have done that. Susan's mother, who has since recorded a statement with the police, has demanded justice for her daughter. With a few weeks to the start of Kenya's certificate for secondary education, Susan's mother wants the matter expedited to allow her daughter ample time to study. Ben Kirui, Citizen TV, Nairobi.